and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swift Foot Ramp. It's going to be our last stack of the day. We're going big here. Go big or go home. We have 14 cards that cost 8 plus mana in our deck. That's a lot. <laughs> That's almost 40% of our deck. Um, of course, we have three copies of Voices of the Old Ones in here, so we are really ramping. Um, and, and so this card we're playing to not only get the two empty mana gems, but then also the second part, using it for card draw, um, looking at the top four cards and draw each one that costs eight plus mana. That should be, you know, over one card each, you know, on average, you know, between one and two cards drawn for the Voices of the Old Ones. Um, of course, we're going to have our Mina Swiftfoots, we're going to have our Feel the Rush, so, you know, we're ramping into Feel the Rush and having Trundle, Trindamir in with that. Um, but then go in Ionia so that we get to actually just cast Mina Swiftfoot, which they're basically the reason, the, I think the thinking here is, is that there's a lot of ramp these days. So a lot of other people are doing this Trundle, Trindamir stuff. And so our Swiftfoot recalling three enemies uh, can really set them back a ton while we are still um, able to have our big things in play. We also have a bunch of Harsh Winds, some Will of Ionias to have some more bouncing in there, Concussive Palm, and then of course Avalanche to be able to help out our aggro matchup. So we're going to need to ramp fast. We're going to be trying to go, the ideal start is turn three, you know, play nothing on one, nothing on two, turn three, play Weirding Stones, keep your three spell mana, turn four, we still have our three spell mana, now we have five extra mana, and turn four, we go Voices of the Old Ones, um, and then turn five, now we have eight mana and so then we can start going with like ice quake trindamir all this kind of stuff all right so let's let's give it a try we got swift foot ramp we're gonna go play our five games over in ranked looks like this is like a, a ramp deck to be able to defeat other ramp decks that's what we got going on because then there's also like the three denies to keep them from casting their feel the rush all right there's no ramp cards in here so i'm going to send them back Yuck. Still no ramp cards. Because, of course, the ramp cards are the most important things early. Okay. That'll do. Wow. KDA is coming to play. I don't think that I'm going to be casting this Avalanche, because likely it'll be the Avalanche deals damage to their things. If they play the smaller Bilgewater units, maybe. Like that thing. I don't even have anything to do next turn, so they'll, they'll probably pass. So let's save the three mana. We'll just play this Catalyst next turn. They may think that they got me and made me waste a turn, but honestly I would have had nothing to do this turn anyway. So basically the problem with going with Avalanche there is that if they had if they had Guiding Touch, that would have been a lot of healing. And I didn't really want to risk that. To heal and protect. Yeah. Could stun it. I don't know, I'll just bounce it. Still save our three spell mana. Alright, so Star Springs at five. This is a pretty ugly hand <laughs> with with how little ramp we had. So Mina Swiftfoot and Feel the Rush can be played on the same turn. It's a little awkward that we don't get to like, you know, do one first or anything like that. See the Nebastian border from here. And I guess I play Feel the Rush. Over Swift Foot. Live with purpose. 
Yeah, I think so. This does mean that next turn I'll just have 10 mana. Like, if I go Swiftfoot, then next turn we could have, like, you know, Avalanche or Will of Ionia plus Trend of Mirror. Hey, two ear links. Made it right in time. We had a pretty... This is just game one. We had a real poor start. Um, I mulliganed all four cards. None of them were ramp cards. And then we got, like, all three Field of Rush, Will of Ionia, Avalanche. But we did get one Catalyst of Aeon. So that was our only... We did get one... That was our one ramp card we drew was a Catalyst. So we're pretty slow. All right, and they're passing here. I'm gonna just let them take the pass. Bring the fucking bell! Woo, you wish cross! Oh, I hear them! So I don't really know why the 2 3 would attack into Trundle. They Except they just want to clear a space out anyway. Like, maybe they just want to clear a space on the board. I can't play Mina, because then I'll only have 11 mana next turn. Or feel the rush. I'm trying, but they keep wandering off. Don't think they'll have a rally effect. I could cast Battle Fury right now. And then still have Field of Rush next turn. Gotta imagine they're gonna have a bunch of Hush. Yeah, Mina, they just replay these things. I don't think Mina really works. I wanna go Field of Rush next turn. So I might as well play this. Not just flesh, rage incarnate! <laughs> Stars, hear me. Take heart. Live with purpose. Alright, so they're up to 15. And of course, they just drew that one, otherwise they would have played that first, but they just drew it. So now that'll be 16. I feel better than you feel better. I hope in between two Trindomirs, two Trundles, that we are able to do 20 damage. I smell a fight. This will be a slaughter. All right, I can only challenge the Star Shepherd. I can't challenge the two seven. So yeah, if they have if they have two hush, they can stay alive. You are better than this. Uh, No, they go to exact zero with all that stuff they did right there. They could have stayed alive if they didn't use all that with a second crush. They never stood a chance. Alright, wanna know. Ooh, opponent's going deep. Let's see if we can ramp hard enough and fast enough to get under Nautilus. Where's the ramp cards? I got a ramp card. Yay! Weirding Sun's a good ramp card. Alright, so now we just need to feel the rush. There we go. Okay, now all we need is... <laughs> if I could just do this all the time. Let's get voices of the old ones. Ah, it didn't work. Ow. Voices of the old ones. 
Yeah, I like seeing that atrocity gone. These are the rot must be cut away. No, no, no. Hmm. Malkai is going to be kind of annoying tossing my deck. Okay, cool. So we have Ice Quake and Avalanche. We could use both of those together. Um, this turn. We're going to do Avalanche. Because we can do Avalanche and Catalyst. And then next turn we can do Ice Pillar and Ice Quake. Then the, the Ice Quake will kill the Weirding Stones, so then we'll be back at 8 mana, but then we can do like Trindamir after that. God, this thing's gonna mill me out super fast. So I gotta kill this Maokai before it mills me out. But of course, I guess if we go if we go Ice Pillar first, we can just challenge. Oh, that challenge thing. It's always cold in the Did we get this first? In my kingdom now. I think it's important to kill Maokai. So, you know, instead we could play like Trindamir, or even I could just pass and next turn cast Feel the Rush. I'm just gonna pass while they while they passed also. We'll just play Feel the Rush this turn. I think this was actually my best play. And now next turn we can like you know attack with these. We have like the harsh winds. Can deny atrocity. Drag them down. Okay. Do I play Ice Pillar first? No, because that lets them toss and everything. Let's just attack. I will not rest. I wish I could have Deny and Harsh Winds. This gets rid of a Nautilus. Please go to me. No. I should have played the I should have played the ice pillar first. Yep. Should have played ice pillar first. Good good learning lesson there. I don't I don't regret no, I don't I don't think I think that I think we played that correct with the field of rush. Um and not going with Ice Quake. I think that was correct. I like I like that play. So I know we didn't kill Maokai, but I think that was the right play. But I do regret I regret not playing that 08. Like that's that's why I just messed that game up. I needed to do that. 
Okay, so I want to ramp with voices of the old ones. I could definitely see Concussive Palm being good against Fiora um, later. But let's look for look for the three mana O4. Not the right card. We need the O4. Still not the right card. My shield is yours. Protect and strike. mana. We'll have six plus two, so we will have voices of the old ones next turn. I walk this space between worlds. And that will put us right to nine. They would fall by my blade. I was hoping that was a Mina Swift foot. That could be kind of nice to reset. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. I find them unworthy. Wow. I haven't seen that deck play Rally before. I have not seen that deck play Rally before. But Rally Rally is great against like whenever you're when you're playing something like this that's real slow and uh, ramping, getting just an extra attack step. That's devastating, for sure. All right, we're playing against another big deck. That's what we want to face. Our deck is certainly designed to face other big decks with all the ramp that we have in here. Which we haven't... So far, we've played four games. I've kept a total of one card in my opening hand in four games. So we haven't had the most ideal of starts. Do, of course, really like the Weirding Stones. King of Trolls. Okay, let's cut. Got a lot better with the Weirding Stones in a Trundle. I'll knock him dead. Nothing's tougher than a troll. Call their bluff. Yeah, that must be nice. How do we only have one ramp card <laughs> with all these ramp cards that we have in here? How do we keep only drawing one? I guess last game we had all the voices of the old ones. Come on, come on! Yeah, I guess we're just gonna stun Trundle and attack. Not anything I'm thrilled about. These old eyes still see far and clear. Well, never mind. The great Avarosan sentry. Yeah, I think I think that's something they would probably want to see in here. The the two mana zero two ramp. If you behold something that costs eight, this deck always beholds something that costs eight. Does feel like we're missing that card. 
I see every move. So I assume they're going to have like something that does one damage to the trundle. Okay, let's see. So yes, yes, Voices of the Old Ones is ramp, but the thing about Voices of the Old Ones, it's ramp, it's late game ramp, where ramp is the most effective in the early game. It's a, you know, it's better to have four mana on turn two, on turn three, for example, than nine mana on turn eight. Like it's just a, it's a bigger impact the earlier you can have it, um, but. Right now, it's like if we don't have weirding stones, like we, we really need like two ramp cards all the time. I don't know, like the like if you have voices of the old ones and that's your only ramp card, you can't play that until turn five. And so, like, what do you even do like the first turns before that? I'm gonna make a you sickle. <laughs> Smashing. The dragon lives. Get ready for a beatdown! Cool. So the one problem here is we don't have two spots for Field of Rush currently. Okay. That problem has been fixed. We now have two spots for Field of Rush. I was going to say, what I was going to finish that statement up with is that I wouldn't, even if we did have the two slots with where we were ahead of, on the board, we probably wouldn't want to play that into Ruin. You know, we do have to worry about Ruination. So it's not just like automatically like they pass and then I slam Field of Rush and feel great about it because of Ruination. Now, Trindamir would survive. So that would be good. Wow, oh, they cannot ruination. And even their plan is atrocity, we have that covered with the harsh winds. Oh, right. That happens. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, okay, yeah. Yeah, because they can't just challenge both of these. Right. And of course, we definitely have to attack before Ruination. Puts up to negative one, so they gotta do something. Doesn't that just kill them? Yeah, like why didn't why didn't they block? Like what could those other cards have been? Did they like they had spells they could cast and they just didn't? Chance. 
Is this the same opponent? Trundle Hecarim? Could be. All right, now let's get it. Weirding Stones. Hmm. Just one times. Weirding Stones into Voices of the Old Ones. Weirding Stones. Darn. Lucky. Okay, so I don't get to... Yeah, I don't get to really do anything this turn. These old eyes still we'll just play the Avarosen Sentry. Be losing that mana anyway. And so now, next turn we get to Voices, and then we'll have 9 mana, so then we can go Mina. I don't even know if like Mina's worth it. Maybe I just cast Trindomir. Let's just cast Trindomir, because if I play Mina, then I don't have Feel the Rush next turn, but playing Trindomir means we do get Feel the Rush this next turn. Honestly surprised by that. I'm not done. That does that does help out Ruination quite a bit. Now Ruination, you know, kills Trindomir. So Mina Swiftfoot's kind of bad against Ruination also, because it puts all their things back in their hand. Kind of in trouble. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. I guess I put Spiderling back in there. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to. Yeah, I should put Spiderling back in their hand instead of Ice Pillar. This allows them to replay Ice Pillar. We got three warnings for you. I'm basically what I'm hoping. I'm hoping this lets them just play Ruination here and just get Ruination out of their hands. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, because now they just make Mina vulnerable, and they can just play Trundle and kill Mina. GG's. I shouldn't have blocked- I shouldn't have bounced the 08. Yeah, I just shouldn't have blocked. I should have bounced the 08. So I think I overall I was pretty disappointed with Voices of the Old Ones and Mina Swiftfoot. I thought that that was going to be like pretty cool, um, but honestly, neither of them, neither of them played very well. With Mina just costing so much mana, um, and yeah, like we keep, yeah, like Mina with Field of Rush was pretty awkward mana wise and stuff. You know, like we'd ramp up to 10 mana, but then we couldn't play Mina because then we'd only have 11 left. So we couldn't Field the Rush the next turn. And then also, like, when you have nine regular mana, you can have the three spell mana. So that's, that's like, the first time turn nine, you know, theoretically turn nine, or just, you know, when you get to nine mana gems, that's the first time you can play Feel the Rush, but that's also the first time you can play Mina Swiftfoot. So both of those, so that was another awkward part with those two, of, like, they were on the exact same point of the curve, which is pretty awkward. And then, yeah, we basically, we kind of struggled the first 
few turns. The goal, of course, is weirding on three, voices on four, but that never happened. We never had a game where we had both weirding and voices. We either like had weirding or we had voices. We didn't get to do that. I don't think I like the harsh winds. I think that with with how high this curve is, I think that harsh winds needs to be flash freeze. I think we just need to have a lot more flash freezes. Um, like I, I would play, I would do that the other way around because flash freeze is something that you can play and then also play. You know, like you can play Mina and flash freeze, or you can play Mina and Trindamir. Or sorry, sorry, sorry uh, flash freeze. You can do like flash freeze plus Mina, or flash freeze plus Trindamir, or flash freeze plus these. You know, like you can you can double spell with flash freeze and these. But if you spend six mana on harsh winds, you know, six plus eight is fourteen. So you, you can never play harsh winds plus anything else you can never really like develop with the big things in your deck while also casting harsh winds so i think that would be a lot better as flash freeze with this curve i think this is like a, just a good faces of the old ones deck so i would i would prefer the flash freezes i would play faces of the old ones i wouldn't pl so i would take out that harsh winds and i would take out definitely take out one voices of the old ones and then maybe just to play two faces maybe just go with the rest of these if you want to just, you know, not not switch it up too much. If you want to, just, you know, keep with the Mina and everything like that. Could also take out a Concussive Palm. Concussive Palm was very bleh. Like when, when we have Flash Freeze, Will of Ionia, we don't really need these Concussive Palms. The three twos get in the way. Um, yeah, I, I didn't really like the Concussive Palm. So there we go. That's that's what I would. So that's that's why we can get these faces of the old ones in here because we want the early ramp. So basically, faces can help with weirding stones that can help you get to voices so there's a couple small changes right there all right those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well let me know what you think of swift foot ramp um yeah but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video